All right, so one of the variations that uh, we want to show is the arm drag, especially no gi, right? So, but when you go across, you want to cuff his armpit. So his Tim's left hand should be on the back of his shoulder. Yeah. Boom, right here, right? You're not giving him the ability to uh, to uh, come up on his to back to close guard. So Tim, what normally Tim wants to do when he arm drags here is to get up on his elbow, right? And in trying to do that, he feels like Phil's biting too hard to get his elbow back across to get back to close guard. So instead, Tim dives his right hand underneath, opens up, scoops, and hits the pen. They almost walk into it because you move to their back in an arm drag, and now they're fighting to get back to close guard, and you just use everyone to the end of the to come back with the pen turn sweep, okay? So it's just arm drag to the side, you're trying to get up, and then as they try to push you back to your back, you're just opening up and sweeping it some out. Cool. So uh, try it. I know it's not, it's, it's, it, it's easy. So let's try it. Let's, uh, let's have a couple guys down. Let's go through it step by step real quick. Even the, I know we, some of you haven't done the arm drag parts of the back. Throw them slower. I mean, you know what about it? So the, the proper arm drag is I'm going to catch his wrist with my left hand. I'm going to uh, thumb up. I like thumb up, yeah. Well, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back. So let's do the arm drag, right? So I want to grab with my left hand, if I'm on the bottom, I want to grab his wrist with thumb up. Turn your hand over to him. Yes. And now I want to reach up, oh, switch your hand. And now I want to reach up and grab the inside of this tricep on this one, right there. And now I'm pushing his hand to my armpit, to my right armpit. And now I'm just pulling him down and hip escape. And now I'm grab, reaching over, grabbing, yeah. And I'm trying to get up on my elbow. Just try to keep your guard closed, open. keep your, at least your leg. And now when he's fighting back, your right hand's gonna duck underneath their arm. Yes, like open up with the pendulum. Pull him into the There you go. Got it. So you're taking that momentum. Yeah. Good. And just using it against So let's get a new group in there and then we'll do it. Yeah. All right, so we're controlling. Look, a lot of times we're stalled here. Everyone's tired, no gi, and that's when we hit him. So our hand's resting on the wrist. They're unsuspecting. And quickly our right hand comes across to the inside. Push the hand to your armpit. Drag, hip escape, and boom, and just cut. And now when they're trying to fight back, your right hand's gonna duck under their arm, under the armpit too. And you need to up. So now duck this hand under here, Phil, towards the knee. So just drop. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Right here, just uh, But look, I want your arm ideally to go under his elbow. Okay. So so now right here, so you arm drag right leg. So keep, keep that motion and then this hand you know what I'm here. Yes, now Thanks. under your leg. Two, and try to reach for his knee. So start opening up. Now, now is when you open up and try to take your get your head underneath him. Yes, but I want your hand to dig under here. Same pendulum. Now open your guard. Look for the pendulum. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Okay. Yep. Yep. Is it is it more natural to end up in an armbar position? We can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it felt more natural for me to roll. That you're going, going out there first. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so it's here. Uh -huh. yeah. See, if I'm here, yes. I've got this right here. Yeah. This is what he calls a jackpot. And up here, I can actually tap you here. What would so, you do? Would you pull huh? up? Okay. Yeah. Right there. So now, when you try to fight this, uh -huh. can you sit up a little bit? Give me space. Get under you. Okay. Push it to your armpit and drag it across. Boom, see how you drag it? You're almost pulling him to the mat as you escape your hips to the left. Boom, yes, that's why it's an arm drag. Drag it down, yes, now dive your hand under, open your guard. Yes, good, nice. Nice, all right, yeah. Sorry. <coughs> to dig your head underneath him. Like, with that arm across his back, and now when you shoot your elbow under, try to get his weight over your head. And pull him up over your head with your arm. Okay. Yes, there you go. Sometimes he'll posture up. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'll show you. Know, right 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 yeah, the upper like because the arm bars are there too. Right. And the process of all that, you can just get the arm bar in front of you. Once you feel them start to yank, then then that's when you start yeah. using my arm. You, you work at the uh, tower Best Buy? No, I work at a, a repair facility. Oh, okay. It's like across the street from over there, though. Oh, okay, I, I go to that Best Buy all the time. Try to try to pull him out out from there. Like, where would I get his arm? Where would you try to pull it? Right here, where I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm not really about that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, what could I do to make him want to get that arm out there? So He's going to want one. Okay. Because otherwise you're climbing his back. Okay. Like, you're climbing his back once you clear that arm. You're going to try to clear it? Yeah, just try to clear your arm out a little bit. Just try to clear it. Yeah, just try to clear it. Yeah, He's trying, yeah. And now, right there, see how his elbows? Underneath his knee. Yep. But now his hand's on the back, so. That's right? Okay. Yep. But that's kind of the, that's no, the rule. That's the game. Stop shining. That's the easiest way for me to remember. <laughs> holding a lever. So right here, guys. He's going to arm drag. So it's the same thing on the arm drag. So you arm drag across, and you're coming up on the back. The key here is you've got to turn your hips. You've got to walk this knee up over the shoulder here. Now Steven's a little bigger, but what you want to do is block his shoulder and his elbow with your hips. And now he's going to. You know, Steven's bigger, but normally you'd have your hips towards the mat, and he's going to keep the back of his hand and his chest, and he's going to bridge, essentially, and it's an Americana from the top, from the side, boom, okay? Since so it's on the elbow joint. Yeah. Or shoulder, one of the shoulder guys. Yeah. And it's good. I mean, you'd be amazed. I'm not going to clean this. So right here. So when we're here, look, I'm normally here trying to climb up to the back. I just turn my hips over just this much, right? I just tried to take my knee to his to his ear. And now I'm, you'd be amazed how many guys defend. They just leave their hands here. They forget, we end up here. And in the process, I just grab this. Look, drive it down into your hip. Push it down into your thigh, right here. And all I'm doing is here, boom, that's it. It's just like an Americana from the top. Okay? What's his escape from that? What's he trying to do? So you just screw it and you got nothing? He, he, the best thing for him to do would be try to push, extend his arm out. But then you gotta be careful because then they're gonna step over your head and try to hit the arm. Down. So that's why that position's a good one. Because there's a lot of options. And even if he gets out and tries to come back to close guard, <coughs> that's the sweep we just work. We just work the boom, sweep him to mount. So it's kind of like, it's a good question because what happens is, and that's jujitsu, once you get these guys, you know, losing an inch, you start taking miles and miles and miles. Before you know it, you paint them into a corner and they got to tap. You know, so that's why I get a position like this is really good because there's a there, once you're really comfortable in here and you know all the options, they start losing a lot of options fast, and it's, it's a land grab, land grab until they're out. So, all right, let's let's play around with that. Let's play around with that. And again, you know, some of these moves we show, like right now, where we're in, I don't expect you white belts to carry away and execute, you know. Dylan always gets me with this. Yeah, this one's a good one. Yeah, no, you got it. It's sneaky. You forget you you're going to get your back taken. Yeah, exactly. No. Oh, angle your hips. Turn your hips a little over. Bill. Yes. Now start trying to. But keep, keep them turned over. So, so instead of falling back, drive your hips to the mat more. It's like I want your hips like you're down. Like, where's the? So that's okay. I want you to. But so I want you to turn your hips over a little more. And now try to drive your hips forward as much as you're pulling back, bridging back. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The bridge. Yeah, the bridge in your hips. Yeah, not using your arms. Broken. Right. <laughs> hey, you know that 